Hello and welcome to this webinar on Kepler S3. In the next minutes, I will explain how to set up a label correctly, what it means by label width and label high, and what a gap between labels is. I will define margins and point out two features to help design a label correctly. Let's see what it means by label high and label width. On a laser jet, or any other A4 printer, high defines the longest dimension of a paper. With label printers, things are different. Here, the label high uh, is defined by its dimension lengthwise to the direction of transport. Label width defines the dimension of a label parallel to the printhead. The distance between two labels is called a gap. If you want to find out about a label but don't have a ruler at hand and don't want to measure, check the label roll. Information may be displayed on its repackaging or on its cardboard core. 60 by 40 means labels are provided 60 millimeters wide and uh, 40 millimeters high. Let's open cap label to set up a label. Create a new layout offers three ways of setting up a label. By selecting new label, the label creator wizard opens. So let's do it. And you can enter a dimension in the label width. And define the height of a label here. Below, you can select a gap between a label and the next one. Common gaps are about three millimeter wide. Then we have starting points. In the most applications, you don't have to enter anything here. Left, for example, means the dimension by which the liner material protrudes labels of their left. Printer assume this to be about two millimeters. If, for example, labels of 5 by 5 millimeters are in use on a 25 millimeter liner, 10 millimeters would be a fine margin. It improves the way the label web is fed on the printer and provides rollers something to grip on. On the top, there's label columns. This is required if several labels are placed side by side. In our case, we define two labels, each of them 20 millimeters wide, and um, having labels side by side results in an extra gap horizontally between these labels. This would have been the first label I created. As I mentioned before, there are two more options. New label from Wizard is next. By selecting a new label from, uh, from an existing format, so next, um, I get all the standard labels, materials provided by CAP on stock. Informations included article numbers, so let me see, here are the article numbers, width and the high. In case uh, you ordered anything before or remember your material, you can simply select by article numbers. Below, my colleagues from the contunable department added corresponding ribbons. These are, um, these are also displayed by article numbers, qualities, width and high. This makes selecting a material a much easier thing to do. The third option is beneficial in particular for cap label light customers. I therefore select new from existing label. Select this feature. Um, if a label design is consistent, but only specific values must be changed briefly. And each new label be saved uh, using a new name. I select the label and confirm to open. 
the label is displayed not by its initial name 5977001, but by new layout. If I modify the label and save it again, the existing label will not be overwritten, but a new one be saved using another name. Okay, so I have created a label. However, um, cap label provides more help to place things on a label. We go to display options and see the grid tab. It offers us uh, to select none, dot or a line. We use line and um, to set a grid and define each unit to five to five millimeters just to place something after five uh, grids, each a red one shall appear. Auxiliary lines are displayed. These grids help align text on a label. You see that device number has not been placed accurately. If differs with Gerätin number, I can align accurately to the same line. Below, displayed in yellow, the grid function can be switched off or I can jump two dots. You see the dots here. I return to display options, grid section um, to align all texts, barcodes and images to the same line. Snap to grid is helpful. The upper left corner of an object snap to a specific corner spot independent of the initial position um, of the object all objects have the same distance this option can also be switched off on the menu a uh, menu below You can also choose a cursor. Right now I have an arrow symbol in operating, but may also select a blue auxiliary line to place text. So here I define two um, as the X coordinate and three centimeters as the Y coordinate. You can see the coordination also here in this uh, corner. You can also choose how the digits of the rulers are displayed. Now my coordinating, uh, connect, coordinate system starts at 0, 0 on the upper left side. If I select uh, display options, grid, um, here you can see. So if I select center, my label starts here on zero and down at zero two. Uh, this may be useful if a printer guides materials centered or think of an XD printer that prints the top and bottom sides of a label. Both sides must be displayed. Okay, at next I regard a possibility to set up a background, we make a new label. So we go to display options and background. For me, it's one of the highlights of the cap label software. I select a specific image. To, if um, you can see, it can be a TIFF, an image or anything else. We open this uh, this image. Yeah. So, and you see that um, you can see that this um, image is now the background of your label. So, all the things which are inside now, the text, the images, cannot be moved or deleted or anything else. Um, this will be very helpful. Um, so when we now place text,
on the label. Um, ah, so we can the text can place so that it fits in size and in proportions to the cap logo. And um, so, so if you operate pre-printed labels, ask your label provider for an image as well. The last point I want to talk about is the print direction. So, we take a shrink tube as an example. Right now my direction of printing is displayed by the tip of an arrow. So I can set my label so that I can read the text, but before I printing, you go to the printer driver, to the image outputs, and you can Rotate the label, the printout, for 90 degrees, 180 or 12, uh, 270 degrees. That's all you have to do. The second possibility that we have is that um, you set up the label in the way it will be printed. Again, the direction of the arrow indicates the direction of printing. So this is not so comfortable to add now text or change anything on the string tube. So therefore we change the display direction. That's all we have to do. So this is what I want to show you. I like to recommend you to visit cap.de by selecting support tab, you will find the cap label software and all documentations of the cap label S3. In addition, there's our cap label blog, postings included, instructions on how to set up label correctly and how to include background images. If you have any further questions or suggestions, please feel free to contact us personally. The email address is support de at cap .de. Thank you for your attention. Take care. See you. Bye.